Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Stacy, and I'm back at it again with another one. Slightly different setup to usual. One, I'm using natural light. I thought I'd try something different because like on all my previous uh, videos, I have recorded at night time. So I've used like my LED strip lights and the normal light. I've, my, my, my sister's got a ring light, but I don't really like the way ring lights make me look. And two, I'm going to be staring into the lens as opposed to staring off camera at myself, which is more comfortable but more impersonal. So I'm trying to be personal. I'm trying to look straight at you. Obviously, I won't be maintaining eye contact throughout the entirety of this because that's awkward and naturally, right? You want to see like what you what you look like and stuff. See, I'm going to start off this video with a wave check uh if you got me on instagram right you're probably tired of me and my head but anyone who has waves and anyone who has been trying to get waves knows that it's not easy getting waves takes commitment it takes time it takes commitment it takes effort it really does take effort and it takes arm power like yeah so Let's see the progress you see the progress Ooh, oh my god the sunlight it looks so crisp um yeah it's locked down so i'm trying to make this trim stretch so far so good i just had a wash day two days ago and for some reason right the trim came out looking nicer than it did pre-washed it but then again i hadn't washed my hair in like quite some time quite some time for like black people it tends to be like more than three weeks because I don't wash my hair every day. That might sound disgusting, but I don't, because black people, we tend to like to retain moisture in our hair. And washing my hair every single day will just strip me of that moisture. Plus, I've always had like dry hair. Big forehead gang. Yeah. Oh. You know what though? I've always like, deep down, right? You know how we all, we all have something about ourselves that we would change. Mine would low-key be my forehead, but I'm low-key starting to... No, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with, with my forehead because it's a part of me and I don't even notice, but like, a younger me, if you could ask a younger me anything that she would change, it definitely would be the size of my forehead because, bruh, it's not even a forehead, it's a five head. But, uh, move. Um, what was I gonna say? waves on swim i know i have forks and it's not the best but it takes time and i'm proud of where i'm going so yeah pray for my hair pray for my trim during this lockdown and i just have to stay consistent and the waves should be crisp yeah so i'm gonna call this video youtube blowback slash something along the lines of Majority of the support for whatever you do will be from strangers that's people you hardly know It's not gonna be that obviously but like you know, it's gonna be along those lines and yeah That's basically what I'm gonna be talking about today. So I started slash revamped my channel a week ago today and I'm already on 73 subscribers like wow when I first started it. I was on 46 But now I've jumped up like to 73. I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect it. It's one of the them ones where I was going to continue anyways regardless of if my subscriber count goes up or down because this is something I've always wanted to do I don't like to live my life with re re with regrets regrets yeah with regrets but the fact that I'm actually gaining actually pretty cool I'm not gonna lie hashtag road to 100 yeah, let's see if I can hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year if not then the new year that would be amazing with or without new, new subscribers I'm still gonna continue because I find this fun and therapeutic here to stay um yeah so basically since starting my youtube i'm not gonna lie the support has been quite good it's been it's been great it's been more than i expected i'm not gonna lie i say it's been 80 percent like positive and like 20 percent not negative but not constructive i found that a few people have been like oh in the first one you seemed a bit awkward you seemed tense which i agree i did because it's not easy talking to yourself especially in front of camera but it's the way in which you give critis criticism yeah they'd say stuff like oh i would have done this and i would have done that and i'm like you would have which means that you haven't so like if you know so, so much about uh, uh, vlogging well, well, why don't you start a channel you know what i mean like people will always have something to say it's like people hardly ever take their own advice it's like if you know 
so, so much about this why don't you start it you know and i'm all for like you know giving feedback and all but it's like it's the way like bro it's 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 the way in which you give feedback you know that, that takes me back to something I said in the previous video with with my sister when I was like the only way to just avoid Chris criticism from people is to be nothing, say nothing, and do nothing. Like, and even then, people will still have some something to say. You know, that's been a bit disheartening because like it's like like I said it in the first one. I haven't a clue what I'm doing with this channel. The whole point of it is for me to sort of learn along the way and for you guys watching to sort of like rock on this journey with me because i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say oh i have this plan and this plan and this plan i have no clue what i'm doing i'm just doing me i'm gonna go with the flow which is very hard because i'm like an i'm a control freak low-key so the fact that i'm going with the flow and seeing where things go and seeing how this all comes together is a very big deal for me and i've also noticed that majority of my support has come from people that i hardly know slash people that i've only recently met always i'm disappointed but i'm not surprised and i think i've gotten to the point where i'm like if i have to ask for the support i have to ask for you to share my stuff like, then i don't want it because support should come effortlessly i might be signing sounding like i am whining i'm actually not like sometimes like people be sharing stuff or even be supporting and i don't even realize that i watch their story and I'm like, oh my gosh thank you kind of thing but the ones that like i sort of thought were oh, like you've been knew me are like watching but not saying anything which is cool that's all right because like people don't really hop onto stuff until it starts to pop and that's just life doesn't mean they're being haters, doesn't mean they hate you, doesn't mean that that, that they don't want to see you shine. That's just how human beings are. We are we tend to gravitate to what's popping, to what's popular. You know what I mean? Like that's just how that's that that's just how like life is. And a younger me, you know, would have probably been upset, would have probably been like, ah, oh, I'm gonna cut you guys off and blah blah blah. I'm actually not. It's one of them ones where it is what it is kind of thing you know the ones that are happy for me and the ones that are pushing me and the ones that are just supporting it like i thank you like so much it means a lot so the ones that are not and the ones that are still doing in, in spectacles upon the story i love you keep watching and hope you're having a good good life it is what it is kind of thing probably chose a, dr a dramatic title youtube blowback but on a whole though the pros you know the positive responses have outweighed the negatives and even then the negatives haven't even been that bad it's just more so people will always have something to say people will always think that they can do a better job than you and i'm like if you can you start a channel you know what i mean and implement those changes that you want me to implement i'm gonna still be me i'm gonna be me i'm not uh i'm not a i have a personality but i wouldn't say i'm a personality like i wouldn't say i'm like a you know how there are some people on YouTube whereby their whole brand is centered around the character and being a certain way kind of thing? That's not me. What you see is what you get. Yeah, what you see is what you get. I'm not here to educate, I'm not here to inform. But through my videos and through what I have to say, subconsciously, unintentionally sometimes, I will be educating, I will be informing. But I wouldn't say like I'm here to be like anyone else. I'm not. I have a hard enough time even trying to be myself. You think I want to be? I I, I, I want to be another person, sir. Like no. Um. It's basically, what I wanted to say, like moral of the video is just do what you want to do because regardless of whatever you want to do, even if you do nothing, someone somewhere somehow is gonna have something to say. Do you know what I mean? So it's like sometimes it is a bit annoying because it's like. Uh, like I'm, I'm someone that's the kind, of, kind, of, kind of, yeah I've got an ear infection I'm someone that's quite defensive anyways but I'm working on like accepting criticism if it's not con constructive I automatically feel attacked which is normal oh yeah I'm having a skin crisis I'm breaking out yeah this video will probably be short if anything it'll be like under 10 minutes or something because i didn't want to go on a tangent but i felt like i needed to get this off my chest disappointed but not surprised mm. so yeah we're gonna keep this short and sweet because like there's no point of going around in circles um oh, i was watching myself watch the lens 
Okay, so uh, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment publicly if you're comfortable. If you're not, then send me a private message if you've got my number on WhatsApp or Insta or just anywhere else. Subscribe and press the bell so that you know when I'm gonna post again. And something I haven't said before, share it with your friends or anyone you feel might like me and my content and what I'm about. Hashtag career experience. I'd say I'm getting more comfortable in front of the camera. Yeah or nay? Yeah, I'd say I'm getting more comfortable. Um, but I'm still awkward. Just another awkward black girl. Shout out to Issa. Yeah, okay, so thank you for watching. <clears throat> Peace.